Louis Benstock, in his book, The Road to Successful Living, tells the story of a diamond prospector by the name of Raphael Solano. Uh, Solano is sitting on the bed of a, of a dry riverbed when he finally exclaims, I quit, I give up. This pebble that I just picked up makes the 999,999th pebble that I have picked. No diamond yet. If I pick one more pebble, that'll make a million. I quit. His colleague said, man, listen, pick up one more. If you pick up one more, at least you can say you've tried at least a million times. Solano sticks his hand in and he feels something that feels almost as big as a hen's egg. He pulls it out and it's a diamond. The millionth time is the diamond. He gives that diamond to Harry Winston in 1942. Winston names it the Liberator. And that diamond at the time sold for $200 thousand dollars what if he had given up how do you handle life when you've had it up to here when you feel like giving up when you're frustrated and you feel like throwing in the towel well the apostle paul tells us beloved be not weary in well doing for in due season you shall reap if you faint not galatians 6 and 9 let me re rewind that and say that again be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Paul is trying to encourage the Christian. He uses this agricultural term of reaping and sowing and says that in times like these, in times when you feel like throwing in the towel, hang on in there. I don't know where you're at today, but if you feel like giving up, remember these three things. First of all, don't make your move too soon. Before you move, evaluate the setting. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your troubles. Tell him your problems. Tell him your concerns. Evaluate your setting. Don't move too soon. Number two, hang on in there. Endure a little suffering for the name of Jesus Christ. For Jesus' sake, I heard one preacher saying, in case your hurts match the hurts of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary, you have no dog in the race. Suffer a little bit for Jesus. In this life, in this Christian economy, Suffering is the true badge of Christian discipleship. I know you don't want to hear that, but hang on in there. I don't know where you're at, but you feel like quitting or dropping out or leaving, but hang on in there and endure a little bit of suffering. Number three, do the right thing. When people don't do the right thing, have some integrity. When you feel like throwing in the towel, put some integrity on your name. Do what you said you were going to do. But the fourth thing I want to tell you is believe in the eventually. The apostle says, in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Due season. That's not like our seasons. It's not like chronological time. One, two, three, four, five o'clock. It's more or less Cairo's time. Due season means when God says it's time. Hang on in there. It may not happen immediately, but it can happen eventually. Peace.